Hi, Perpetual Mommy here today to do a brand new review for all of you. This is my very first Be Supplied, and this is in the print Geo. So Geo is part of the Legacy Collection, so it does have the gold hardware. And again, this is the Be Supplied. So the Geo is coming out with Blue Steel. It's the March 2019 releases by Jujubee. I will put all of the release information in the description box below. But for right now, you guys, what you need to know is it's the Geo print. I did do an unboxing of Geo and Blue Steel. I will link that video in the description box below. I will also link it at the end of this video for anybody who wants to watch that unboxing and get a really good detailed look at both of the March 2019 releases. But right now we're gonna focus on the Bee Supplied. And I'll tell you guys, I have been loving the pump bags. So I have the Bee Nurtured, which I absolutely adore. And I did do a video on that one as well if anybody's interested in the Bee Nurtured. But after I had that bag, I thought, you know, I need to try the Bee Supplied because I love the pump bags as diaper bags slash toddler bags because they make great snacking bags. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys how I have it packed up. But first, let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of the bag and let's get a close up look at the print. So one of the first things that you'll notice again is that this bag's part of the Legacy Collection. So that means that it has this beautiful gold hardware, that really pretty GGB script. You're also getting a really fun look at the print. And depending on how you look at the print, you're gonna see squares, you're gonna see rectangles, you're gonna see circles, you may see X's. So there's a whole bunch of different kind of visual things that you may see, you may see diamonds in here, depending on how you look at it. So it's a really fun print. Now I will tell you guys, I suffer from migraines. This print does not give me a migraine. It is really trippy to look at. I'm not gonna lie to you guys about that. It really is kind of strange because the more you look at it, the more the pattern changes. Because sometimes I look at it, I'm like, oh, I see circles and X's. And sometimes I look at it and I see, oh, I see diamonds and rectangles and squares. Uh, you know, it just totally depends. But it's also a lot of fun because depending on how you're holding it and how you're looking at it, as to what shapes are predominantly part of what you're seeing in the bag. But again, even though it's a really fun kind of trippy bag to look at, it doesn't induce migraines for me. And I will tell you Black Magic did kind of give me migraines and I'm not quite sure why because Black Magic was just straight lines. So just for me, this one didn't trigger me. But again, for me, not a problem. And I know a lot of you are gonna ask me that since a lot of you know that I do suffer from migraines. But I'm really liking the look of this Legacy Collection print only because it's super classy. So, you know, I had it out with jeans the other day and it looked really nice with jeans and a white t-shirt. Today, you guys, I had on my, my staple of yoga pants and a black shirt, gray yoga pants and a black shirt and some black flats. It looked great with that. Um, I took this too. I just hosted a Valco and Vino event where I had on, you know, a mama bear t-shirt and some leggings. It looked great with that. It just really kind of dresses up whatever you have on, and it can also be worn dressed down and still look just absolutely stunning. So let's go ahead and jump on in to this bag. So again, you guys, this is a pump bag. It's not sold as a diaper bag, it is sold as a pump bag. Now what that means is that it does not come with a change pad. So you're not gonna get a change pad with this bag because again, it is a pump bag, but you can use it for whatever you want, obviously. You can use it as a diaper bag, as a pump bag, as a you know work bag, as a day bag, as a trip bag. Whatever works for you, I'm loving it as a toddler bag. So you do have two nice tote handles with a really good drop length. So I'm not sure what the drop length is on these. If I can find that information, I will insert it here in the video. And then, so for me, this fits really great over my shoulder. It also works great over the crook of my arm. It's not too long to do that way. And then the bag also comes with a really nice messenger strap. Now the messenger strap does have a memory foam shoulder pad. So it is very comfortable. You guys can see it is really nice and squishy. It's also on metal hardware swivel hooks. So you have this, again, the gold metal hardware, the swivel hooks, so you don't have to worry about it getting tangled. And that also adds to the comfort feature of the bag. On the front of the bag, you do have a mommy pocket with one zipper pull, nice smooth zipper. And what you're gonna see right here, as soon as I open the bag, is that this bag, just like all of the Legacy Collection bags, does have that champagne, or mushroom colored lining that has the embossing in it. It's really, really pretty. So right here in front, I do have my Noir Rose small B set piece. This is what I'm using as a wallet. And I do have it attached to the key leash. So you do have a key fob right here. And that just adds some extra security for me because this pocket is right on the front of the bag. I do like to go ahead and make sure that I have my wallet nice and secure. And then also here in this mommy pocket, you do have one elasticized pocket that you can see right here. And in here, I just had a notepad full of paper. We had to go to Target and to Trader Joe's today. So I had my shopping list. 
have a great pen, you guys. If you have a Daiso near you, this is a pack of two. They were, what, 99 cents for a pack of two, and it writes beautifully. So for any of you who are familiar with Hobonichi, this writes a lot like the Hobonichi Teco pens that you get. Then I have another pen, and I have a lip oil. And I'll give you a nice shot of the inside of this mommy pocket now that it's empty. Moving on to the side pocket, excuse my reach. You do have a pocket that has two elasticized pouches. So this is where you would put your pump tubing, you'd put your um, pump charger, you, your cord, whatever you may have if you were pumping. But for me, this works really nice to hold whatever I have in here. So I have a hand lotion right here. And then right here, I have my kind of goodies I use for the girls. I love the baby bum products. So right here, I have a hand sanitizer. And then a sunscreen. And my husband really likes to use the sunscreen stick, so we have one of those as well. Turning the bag around. You have one slip pocket. And I'll show you guys if you guys can see this. It's a very large pocket. You can see where my fingers are all the way down here. And here's just kind of a catch-all for me. Like right now I have our baby wipes. You're not a mama if you don't use baby wipes for everything. Wiping hands, wiping faces, wiping bottoms, wiping counters, taking off your makeup. Um, I literally use baby wipes for everything. So I will be having those for the rest of my life. And then my car key. And that's it for that pocket. Now here you have another pocket that looks like the pocket on the other side when you look at it from the outside, but this is actually where your pump would go. So this is technically your pump pocket. I use this as a snack pocket. I love this because I have a three and a four year old. Snacks are one of the biggest commodities that I'm always getting into for the bag. What's nice about this is I don't have to open the main compartment of my bag. I don't have to dig around. It's all right here on the outside. So let me go ahead and open this up and let you guys see what this looks like. So you guys see this? They're gusseted, it's a gusseted pocket. So let me turn that on the side so you can see what I mean. So a gusseted pocket means it has these pieces right here. So the flap opens up, but it won't fall completely open. So your stuff's not gonna fall out. Let me see if I can give you a nice shot of what's in here. So if you've watched my videos before, you know that I love the Snoofy Bee products. This is a Snoofy Bee plate, bowl, set, whatever you want to call it, but it's silicone. It's dishwasher and microwavable safe. It's also oven safe. And I have two of these, but what I found is I only need to take one for the girls because each can have one half. So I have some table topper mats and some plates or whatever. So if we were somewhere like having a picnic or we were at one of my son's track meets, um, they could each have a clean bowl to eat out of if we were sitting in the bleachers, which is really, really nice. Then I have a Muddy Buddy case. And in here I have one of the Trader Joe's fruit leathers. So this is a special treat. We really don't eat candy here, um, but that's a little special treat for the girls. And then I have some baby mum mums. My girls are toddlers, but they love mum mums. And then I have some dried apricots. And look how good you guys, I am in love with the Zoli Sumo Snack Tower. Like it fits so well in here. Each one of these sections holds one cup of food. So right now I think I have some sesame sticks, some nuts, and some dried fruit in here. But you can put whatever you wanted and it's just, it works great for us. And you can see in here now that it's empty how large that is. And again, that's your pump pocket. That's where you would keep your breast pump if you were pumping. Now I'm going to give you a shot of what the top of the bag looks like. It has almost like a horseshoe opening with two zipper pulls. And because it opens like this, it actually gives you a very nice access to the top of the bag. Let me show you what the bag looks like before I pull anything out. So right on top are two things that I may want to grab for very, very quickly. So right here, if you guys have watched my videos, you know that this is where I pack my mommy needs. So this is my Simply Gilded pouch, and in here I have some makeup needs, some feminine products, just anything for me that I might need or want. And then right here, this is a Kipling pouch. And in here, I just have some fun little finger or hand toys for the girls, some little things that they may want to play with while we're out and about. They really love little trinkets and things to hold and play with. 
Now this is what the bag looks like with those two top things removed and you're getting a really nice view of what that snack pocket or pump pocket looks like. So right here, this is a GGB medium set piece. It's part of the B set baglet. So they come in a small, medium, and large set of three that come together. This is the medium piece. This is our restaurant essentials. So in here I have a straw container full of paper straws. And again, with Snoopy Bee, you guys, I am in love with the Snoopy Bee products. I have two silicone circles. Now these could be used as teethers if you had babies. You can use this to hold a blanket around your neck as a nursing scarf. We use them for making bibs if we needed to. So if you're somewhere that has like a, a cloth napkin, you can loop it around here and use it if you needed to use a bib for any reason they didn't have one with you. Multiple uses. Tie a blanket onto a stroller for shade if you needed to. Then I have a probiotic. I have some tissues. I have some more table topper mats and a toothbrush. And again, that's the medium set piece and the geoprint. So this is what the bag looks like now. Right here I have the large set piece, still in that geoprint. And this is our change of clothes. So I have one dress in size six. This would fit either one of my children, would be large at my three-year-old or would fit my four-year-old. Then I have two spare sets of socks. And I've taken to carrying this with me just in case. So this is made by Handcraft. It's a change kit. Handcraft makes wonderful products. If you have printed underwear for your littles and you shop at Walmart or Target, they were probably made by Handcraft. But I love these because if for some reason one of my children, knock on wood, has an accident, they knock on wood that they don't have an accident. They have not had accidents and I couldn't even tell you how long. But I have this just in case. So it's really nice to have. I have a spare pair of underwear, spare pair of pants, a plastic baggie, as well as six extra wipies if I needed them. This is what the bag looks like now. And you can see this is kind of flopped over in here. So this is a custom piece in the GGB fabric cherry lemonade, I believe is what it was called. It was actually before my time as a pink lady. It's the only, it's the only fabric that I have in this and it's so so cute i really really like it and the fabric behind here is actually gold so i thought it looks really cute you can kind of get a peek in there of that um, but this holds our band-aids our gauze pads our sanitation wipes it has a thermal blanket for shock it has emergency whistles so kind of anything you need for a boo-boo on the go it's a lot of fun and i always like to add a couple pops of color if possible and then standing up back here I have our art supply stuff. So I just have a Target dollar spot, 99 cent pouch full of crayons and some of those pens with the fun little color changer tabs. And then I have two booklets full of white paper for my girls to draw on. Okay, so I wanted to show you what the bag looks like now that there's nothing on the inside of it to give you a really good look of what it would like if, look like if you had this part completely full. Remember, this is the part that holds the pump. So if you don't have a pump in there or you don't have it full of snacks like I did, or it's only partially full, you can either push it over a little bit or you can push it all the way out of the way and not use it and have the entire section available to pack with whatever you wanted to pack with. But again, I wanted to give you a nice look of what it does look like fully in use. And then you also have a zippered pocket back here. And in here I keep some quick grab items. So right here I have a GGB coin purse and a Donatella Sweet Shop print. This holds a spare contacts, my migraine medication, dental floss, that kind of stuff. And then I have some public toilet seat covers. I have an individually wrapped one and some that are not individually wrapped, which are smaller, just in case we're somewhere and the girls have to go potty really, really bad and can't wait. And then I have two more lip products. So for those of you out there who are like, I wanna get a pump bag, but what am I gonna do with it when I'm done pumping? Let it be known. GGB came out with their pump bags after I was done pumping for my littles. So my girls are older and I now own two pump bags because they work so great as toddler bags with a separate section for snacks or even for spare clothes. I have a friend who loves to put her kids spare like swim stuff in that section. So really just anything that you want to be able to access and not get into the main part of the bag, 
it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So again, this is the Be Supplied in the Geo print. It is a new print that's launching this month, March 2019. That's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.